And we are back. Thanks for clicking on the link, guys. This is Good Energy. I am your host. We are in the studio looking at players that could possibly have a breakout year in 2024. Ten players on this list. Number nine is Victoria Jimenez Casanceva. She's from Andorra, ladies and gentlemen. Five foot 11, 18 years old, and she's a former top ranked junior let's get into it if you're not familiar with victoria jimenez you will be after this video she won the girls australian open junior championship in 2020 and she even followed that up with possibly an even better 2021 even though she did not win a slam in 2021 she made the french open quarterfinals the wimbledon semifinal and the u.s open quarterfinal and in doubles, she made the French Open semifinal and the U.S. Open semifinal. She's a left-handed player, and she is very athletic, ladies and gentlemen. She has a lot of power. She is a baseliner, and she can stretch the court. Her best season so far was 2021, where she won 32 matches and, of course, the Junior Slam Championship. She followed that up in 2022 with a 31 season, and currently she's got 24 wins this season. As a current professional, she has a win percentage of 55% with 92 victories on her short career. I'm still trying to determine what surface she plays her best tennis on. Despite being a hard junior slam winner, most of her wins are coming on the clay season. She had 26 wins in 2021 on clay, and since then, no surface has brought her more wins in a calendar year. Although she hasn't had that huge win on her career yet, unless you consider prime Coco Vandy way, not little Coco, big Coco, part of that group. But she does have some solid victory so far amongst her short career. We've seen her beat Jody Braj, Masaka Dua, Chloe Podcat, Rebecca Marino, just to name a few. And she's really competitive. Of her 21 losses this season, seven have gone to three sets. And she has an insane win percentage in ITF championship matches. She's made six final appearances and she's won four of them. The wins include Brazil, Portugal, and two here in the United States have Boca Raton and Austin. The two losses came in Australia and Spain. And I do feel confident that 2024 could finally be the year we see Victoria Jimenez Kasintseva finally make a Grand Slam draw appearance. She's attempted to qualify in the past unsuccessfully. This year at the Australian Open, she did make the third round of qualifiers before being defeated in what was a thriller, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. A, that's right. A thriller before losing to Ava Liz, who would go on to make the main draw. She also made the Wimbledon third round in 2022 before losing to Astra Sharma. In the French Open and US Open, not having much success, losing in the first round of qualifiers in 22 and 23. However, I must state again, I think this year might be the opportunity that Victoria Jimenez finally breaks out and makes a main draw for a Grand Slam appearance. She has played in several main tour matches this year, including Midland, where she faced Peyton Stearns, and Dora last week, where she took on Clara Tawson, and the epic battle in Madrid against Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova that went three sets. Now, I state, I'm not sure if Clay is her favorite surface. Watching her play, I've always thought Clay was her favorite surface. Of course, she has more than half of her wins coming from the Clay surface, despite being a junior hard slam winner. I do feel that if she continues to focus on bettering herself on clay, she could possibly make the French Open this year. I do think that's realistic. Victoria says her favorite shot is her two-handed backhand. However, my analysis from watching her play, I noticed the left forehand is very powerful. She loves to play the lines and her range extends beyond the lines. And again, I think that's the main challenge a lot of juniors have, top juniors in particular, when they step up to the main tour competition. It's adjusting to the power of facing so many adult women who train regularly with, with the best resources and personal trainers. That is a growing period and normally it's going to take a couple years to get used to that power, 
right? Now, some of the greats like Corey Coco Golf we've seen, she's been able to handle it since 15 years old, and that's what makes her special. That's what separates her from most of the ladies on tour. Let's just be honest, she's 19 years old inside the top 10. But Coco Golf will not be on this list, ladies and gentlemen. She's already established. Now, Victoria Jimenez, in my opinion, watching her play, she has good range. She can play the lines and she can stretch opponents past the lines. I love how she comes across court with her left hand. And remember, guys, most players on tour are right handed. Over 90 percent of players on tour are right handed. She has a gift being a left handed player there. It's very uncomfortable for most right handed players to face a left handed player. Their strong ball is coming literally towards the back foot of their opponent, which is why you see a lot of right handed players when facing left-handers with strong forehands you see them resort to the backhand that's right to establish court control and move their opponent around so they can get a little better court position and gain control of the rally victoria jimenez is someone you definitely want to watch out for she's been on the big stage since a young teenager and i do think the four championships on the itf it's a good experience to prepare her for what's to come. Her stats are unofficial because she plays a mixed schedule, but the matches I've seen her play, I've seen her average about two aces per match, and she wins about 67% of her service games on the main tour, that is. Uh, I would like to see her get a little bit better on the return side of things, so therefore she can put more pressure on her opponents, especially being left-handed. Her first serve, she wins about 60% of those. The second serve number is about 45%. Uh, she's amazing in pressure point situations on the main tour matches she's played. She saved about 67% of her break points. And that's Victoria Jimenez, Kassantseva, number nine on this top 10 list of players to watch out for in 2024. Yes, this list consists of teenagers and players that have not had a full schedule on the main tour and still play the majority of their matches on the ITF level. This is Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Like the video, show some love so I can continue to bring you in-studio content. Thanks again. Everyone have a blessed day. And stay tuned for number eight.